Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this is the Knipex 6102-200. This is a high leverage bolt end cutting nipper. And it's got a couple of unique features I wanna point out. Um, first of all, the high leverage doesn't come from like long handles such as with this, this cutter here. Um, because if you look where the joint is located, you've got uh, essentially the entire cutting force is right up here, just right next to that joint. Hard to see in the shadow there, but that's what's going on. So there isn't a bunch of wasted space losing you know, your leverage advantage between the center of your, your rivet and the, the actual functional cutting surface. Um, the other thing this thing does is you notice it's got an offset head. Now, a lot of nippers, like here's some Mac nippers, uh, are nice and symmetrical. And what that means is if you're working with something that's extended, that's long, you only have the very edges of the tool to work with, especially if you're trying to squeeze out every bit of the, the flushness of that tool. So these give you the full size range of the jaws. You can see that with that nail there. Try to get that in focus there. You've got the entire range that you can grab this or grab the object. And let me show you a couple of uh, examples here. So many times when we're working with nails or staples or something, trying to pull them out, um, we go to, well, I use linemen's all the time. You grab them maybe by the side and start prying, see if that works or twisting. Usually you snap it off and then you got, got to deal with that thing. Um, or we grab our kind of cutters. By the way, if you've got a straight cutter, or almost straight, you know, you have to have the work surface in order to get down as low as you can. Um, that's why they put a bend on them, on these dikes here, you know, to try to get a little bit more and then maybe you can roll it, um, you know, on the surface that way, that can work really well. Um, if you need extra, if you're cutting something off, trying to get flush, obviously the thickness of the tool is pretty crazy. You know, you got to deal with that um, or get right up and try it, but anyway, that's where these come in. So first of all, um, they are incredibly powerful because of the uh, uh, the placement of the rivet here, the leverage, the size of the jaws, and the way that you can hold them in order to get that force. Um, a lot of times you wanna get nails out and these work very well because even with two fingers here, you know, I can easily just pull um, pull that nail because there is an enormous amount of leverage here and it's got this bump on the back that's designed as the as the fulcrum or I can roll it across these faces so you can see as if it's almost designed for that well actually it is designed for that as far as cutting um, it just makes easy work of most nail quality steels here you can see that I just uh, you know, one hand, one, I'll even choke up on it. It just, the leverage is so incredible. I'm going slow so it doesn't shoot across the room. Um, that's an example. So what about pulling nails? Um, actually pull some. I can drop it right down. If you look really, really close to the workpiece. And then I can literally go in all kinds of different directions without any trouble whatsoever. It does maybe score the, the nail a little bit, but if I'm gentle, I don't have to snap it off. But what that also means, it's not gonna slip off like often happens here because this may not be able to grab in. This grabs uh, without any trouble. Plus, if, if you look, I've got you know plenty of, of options as to where and how I can grab this thing. You can see all the way around. I don't need much of a radius here. And again, with just two fingers, I can start pulling because it's got just such a tremendous grip. And there it pops right out. Um, what about staples? Well, if you look at how flush this is, it isn't completely flush, but I'm only losing a tiny bit. So if there's anything to grab, you, even with this, this looks like it's a pretty low staple. Let me bring it up here. I can still easily Turn that a little so you can see better. Easily grab it without any trouble. In fact, I'm not even anywhere near the limit of this. And then I can either snip it or I can very carefully pull it up just like that. 
because you've got so much power here, so or so much available force that if you're gentle, you can really do a lot, a lot with these things. That one I snipped off. That always happens. Oh no, look at that. You know, so I can pull gently pull out the rest of the staple. There it is, but I've got this little nub here. Now normally pound those back in, but I can grab this with the very tip Oops, and, and pull it out. I'm trying not to snip it off. I use two hands here. Maybe you can see better this way. Go right in on the very tip and start rocking it and look at that. I can gently pull it right out. So, there it is, um, the Knipex 6102-200s. They actually came in this box. Actually, they came with this box. They had managed to escape by the time it arrived to me. Um, but anyway, they're available um, in a few places. I found them difficult to find. I'll put a link in Amazon. Um, and this was the only handle that, that was available. Um, but there they are. With that, Doc out.